Gamma Gurton's Needle Gamma Gurton's Needle occupies an important place in the arena of English comedy. Since it was one of the earlier English comedies, it enjoys the equal position along with Nicholas Udall's Ralph Royce to Doyster. Gamma Gurton's Needle was staged in 1566 at Christ's College, Cambridge. It was first attributed to John Still but it was afterwards assigned to William Stevenson. Gamma Gurton's Needle is modeled on Latin comedy like Ralph Royce to Doyster. But the matter and characterization are native. In this comedy, we see the interlude of John Haywood expanded and developed under the influence of the foreign classical school. The play throws light on English country life in Tudor times. Gamma Gurton's Needle is a domestic comedy with English realism and it represents the life of the peasant class. Gamma Gurton, a fat lady loses her needle, at that time an article of value. Dame Shat is accused of stealing the needle. This affair unsets the whole village. The parson, Master Bailey, the constable, Dr. Rat all are called in to assist in emergency. The tumult and confusion increases due to the missing needle. Eventually, the needle is found sticking in the leather breeches of Gamma Gurton's farm servant, Hodge. The humor is heavy-handed and coarse, but the characterization is vivid and skillful. Gamma Gurton and Dame Shat are prototypes of generation of village gossips who have, however become more refined in the course of time. On the whole, general opinion considers Gamma Gurton's needle inferior to Nicholas Udall's Ralph Royster Doyster in the humor and entertainment. The earliest edition of Gamma Gurton's needle was published in 1557 but a similar play named Dykin of Bedlam was licensed in 1552. All the confusion and tumult in the village is the result of Dickens' mischievousness. Dickon, a never-do-well, tells Gurton that her neighbor Dame Shat has stolen her needle. He takes advantage of the confusion to steal a ham. Thus, Dickon produces humor and interest in the play. Gamma Gurton's needle, though inferior to Ralph Royster Doyster, is realistic and original work. It is the second English comedy in verse and it displays a true picture of English country life. In the play, there is a drinking song. Back and side go bare, go bare, both foot and hand go cold. But belly God send thee good ale enough, whether it be new or old. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.